I have some really great news. We were able to buy a new secondhand drone. Yay! Tommy was so excited to test it that he flew out the door faster than a toupee in a hurricane. I'm so glad he got a new drony. Don't crash into the greenhouse, Tommy. Hello. <laughs> we, we're on our way to get our duck eggs and we are way, way up in the forest somewhere. Haven't seen a single house yet. <laughs> so the duck lady, she lives very remote. Very remote. So I'm glad we have this four wheel drive truck. So we'll see. Exciting. There's a farm up there. Yeah, maybe that's it. They live up here all by their lonesomes. Yeah. That's gotta be it. Ducky ducks. On the left here, there's one other house. So this must be downtown. <laughs> downtown. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a huge farm. Yeah. Ja, den där där. Ja, den står ingen där. Ja, den står. Jag kan inte se honom. Det är mycket utstyr. Det är så. Det är så. Det är So are you the new duck lady? Duck lady. I'm excited. Those are our eggs where we can eat. We can eat. Yeah, because they're not that fresh as the other ones that we kind of have in the incubator. Hey little uh, little ducky eggies. You have to sit over here while we build your incubator. Incubator. Hello, I'm Tommy from uh, Sunny Hill uh, Honey Farm and this is our incubator. Uh, I will go through how we built this and, uh, and it was very inexpensive and anybody can build this, right? This one looks uh, fun. Does it look fun? Maybe this looks fun. That looks very fun. And this looks fun. So 
There you go. Looking good? Looking good. There you go. We test it out. It works. Dee -dee -dee. Fresh air, fresh air to the ducklings or the eggs. Ready? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. The idea is that the eggs needs to be in a constant temperature and a constant uh, humidity. And here, so to put in a temperature gauge in here. Uh, it will show you the humidity and the temperature. And obviously it can be switched over to Fahrenheit if you use that. So basically there are two sensors here. So I just made a hole in this styrofoam box. And I put in this uh, old, uh, I don't know what used to, I th think it used to be shrimp in this. <laughs> From the store. Plastic container. Plastic container. With a lid. Right? That's then we can uh, maintain uh, the correct temperature all the time. And in here, we just have a 15 watt light bulb. Holo collagen light bulb. Yeah, it's not lead. Mm -hmm. So it actually produces a little bit of heat, right? And on, and on the wire here, you have a dimmer, right? So it goes directly in here and into the outlet. And then you can adjust. You can adjust the um, heat by turning this knob. You see? Isn't that smart? Very smart. Very, very smart. Very, smart. Very, very smart. Very, very smart. And the adjustment to the machine for the moisture is this. <laughs> So when your gauge are telling you you need more humidity, you do like this. And the idea with this fan is to disperse the sort of the temperature and, the, and circulate the air inside. Look, it's working. It's working. Yeah. And these boxes, styrofoam boxes, are incredibly inexpensive. You can get them anywhere. And uh, we got this or a bunch of them from um, a labo laboratory. 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 Yeah. Uh, they do water samples uh, from people's wells. So they just wanted to get rid of them. And we p picked up a whole bunch of them for free. So this is very inexpensive and a single light bulb, you know, and I put this as sort of a, uh, you know, reflector shield as a piece of insulation so that the heat will sort of go, go downwards. I don't think I needed it, but I, I, I thought it looked cool. <laughs> it does look cool. <laughs> He's so cute. I'm mm, cute. <laughs> so that's it. I think we spent. I don't know. Well, we bought the dimmer. We bought the dimmer. Yeah. yeah. We spent twenty dollars. The computer, uh, this computer fan, was from my uh, son's old computer, and I just found this uh, power supply. I don't know what it is for. We found. I found it upstairs. And, uh, you know, the, the, from the outlet in Europe, we, we operate on 220 volts. And all that this thing does is convert it to 12 volts. So I just connected that to the fan. And there you go. 
awesome. Easy peasy Japanesey. <laughs> so cool. Herky perky hands of jerky. No, you can't say that. <laughs> you can't Sorry. say that. <laughs> so let's uh, incubate some eggs. So now we're just going to spend the rest of the evening monitoring the temperature and the moisture in the homemade incubator. And um, if we can keep a consistent temperature that doesn't go over 39 degrees Celsius and about 60 degrees um, humidity, then we can put the eggs in tonight. 60 degrees humidity? Oh yeah, 60% humidity. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So our system, I'm thinking we'll just uh, turn the eggs by hand uh, once in the morning and once in the night. So I think we will draw a sun on one side of all the eggs and a moon on the other side so we know when it's time to put them in bed. <laughs> and at night you can sing a good night moon. <laughs> or twinkle, twinkle, little star. Are you going to sing Twinkle Twinkle to the eggs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we have a sunshine. Yep. That's the day side. That's the day side. And a little moon for nighttime. That's the moon side. That's the moon side. Night side. Yeah. <laughs> With everything happening in the world right now, the war in Ukraine and the latest UN report regarding the climate crisis, we have decided to ramp up our efforts in becoming more self-sufficient. We are studying ways to preserve food in case of a crisis. Having ducks on our farm for meat and eggs and growing our own vegetables seems like the right thing to do. Thomas Edison once said, Unfortunately, there seems to be far more opportunity out there than ability. We should remember that good fortune often happens when opportunity meets with preparation. I'm so stupid. I was uh, I was in here trying to fix the sink in the kitchen because it's leaking. And I was under the sink and I was using WD-40, you know, to lubricate some part down there. And and then afterward, I was in the incubator, which is next to the sink here, and I noticed that the moisture content was a bit low. So I grabbed down. I opened the lid and I was reaching for my water bottle to spray the eggs with water. Guess what I grabbed? This damn thing. And I sprayed three of the eggs with WD-40. Oh. I managed to put a little mark on the eggs that I, I noticed that I sprayed. You see the little... Uh, cross there so I took the eggs up gently and I put them under warm water here to tr rinse them off so we'll see if I <laughs> kill them all I'm so stupid I'm sorry I'm sorry ducklings I'm so sorry yeah well we're um, 10 days into the incubation now and uh, I want to take you through a few things that we observed. We put the eggs in uh, the 24th February and it's March uh, 6th today. And if you come hither, come hither, come hither. So we're supposed to aim for 60% moisture content and 37.5 centigrades. 
right? We have the dimmer in order to change the, the heat, basically change the light. And it turned out that we had to do a few modifications. The, the, we had to change the light bulb from 15 watts to 25 watts. And that, that has to be a, it can't be a LED light. So you kind of have to find the old fashioned, uh, how do you say that word? Halogen? Oh, halogen. Halogen. And we also noticed that uh, with, this is where the uh, fan is in the back here. I kind of had to cover that up because it, get, it got too cool down here. If you see, I have a temperature gauge down here too. We find that we managed to keep the temperature pretty stable using this uh, dimmer. Uh, twice a day we open up uh, the box and we turn the eggs. And we also spray it with this, uh, this uh, hu humidifier machine. And where she wrote, Tommy, do not spray WBD-40 on the X. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so we, we had to put uh, two bowls of uh, water in here because it's pretty warm down here. When, when you touch an egg, it's pretty warm. Uh, in order to maintain the moisture content. And we, we find that we managed to keep it around 37 and 60 percent most of the time using this system but we did we have been uh lighting the eggs uh, regularly lighting the eggs yes and uh it might be duds so the duck lady um i was it's not uh, it's out of season i guess it's been very cold so maybe the the eggs are not fertilized i, I, I don't know so we're gonna give it a shot but we're gonna go and get some other eggs from another duck lady in order to double up our chances of getting ducklings. Yes. De -de -de. De -de -de -de. And this system I have to say worked really well. I just uh, hot glued this uh, temperature device down into this, to this plastic box and underneath it turned out because the sensors are, sensors are right here, I had to put up uh, this uh, heat shield so that the light doesn't shine directly on the sensors and give it a false reading. You yeah, know? good job. So the way it is set up now, it works perfectly. Mm -hmm. you, you, you're able to maintain the, the moisture content and the temperature fairly easily. And the whole thing costs basically nothing to build. So very very uh, pleased so far but I think the eggs might be duds so we kind of have to see what we can do with that coming up in our next video on sunny hill honey we visit the bee yard for the first time this year and inspect our hives we have prepared some protein sugar patties for the bees in hopes that they will make it through this last month of cold we started the winter with a total of seven hives. The big question is how many survived? Be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out. We also purchased an inexpensive food dehydrator and I have been experimenting with fermenting. These fermented eggs are delicious and store well. You can expect to see more projects like this on our channel. We will keep you updated with the progress of our duck eggs. Please leave us a comment if you have any questions about our homemade incubator. Thanks for watching. Here come the bloopers. Herky perky, hands of jerky. No, oh, you can't say that. Oh, no, you can't oh. say that. <laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, I'm so stupid. I sprayed three of the eggs with WD 40. Oh. You can't kick the dog. <laughs> You're supposed to do things like that. Don't make me laugh. She was licking her own ass on video. <laughs>